Wanna save time at the office? Here are three Excel features I wish I knew existed in my career. What's up guys, I'm Dave, I'm a CPA. Feel free to use the timestamps below to skip to specific parts of this video. The first Microsoft Excel hidden feature is the bookmarks. If you have a really large data set like that, a very large workbook with multiple sheets, what you need to do sometime is actually go back very often to the same place. Right here in this tab, I have a data set and below I made an analysis. It's the data super powerful analysis and my boss asked me a lot of time to go back to this analysis. So instead of endlessly scrolling through my workbook, I will set a bookmark on this specific cell. At the top here, you have a little box that tells you which cell you are. So we are on the cell A65 here and we have the data super powerful analysis and we want to go back very often to this analysis. So we are going to name this cell data powerful analysis and we click enter. And then as we scroll through the workbook, we have a lot of work to do, et cetera, et cetera. We go through the workbook and then we go back to our data powerful analysis by just clicking on the little arrow here and then go back data powerful here we go and if we ever made a typo or we want to change the name actually what we did behind the scene is to put a name into a specific cell so you go into the formula ribbon and then into name manager and here you have the data powerful analysis cell and you can just delete it or edit it and here you go never lose data again never the hidden feature number two is the auto sum and the quick analysis tool let me show you let's say you want to do your total here of your sales rep rihanna taylor swift justin bieber they sold january through march and then you want to do a sum you could do equal sum like this but what you could do actually is just select the whole data and then press Alt on your keyboard, hold it down and press equal. Here you go. You put all the totals at once. But what I really want to show you is the quick analysis tool. Let's say you want to do an analysis after that. You just select all your data. You click on Control Q for quick analysis. Or as you can see, when you select your data, you can just click on the little lightning here. And then you can put some formatting on your numbers like data bars, colors, an icon set. You can put rules, uh, conditional formatting. If data is greater than 10,000, put it in red, by example. You can put a chart as well. Real quick, you insert a chart. And then control Q, you can put some totals. You can put the average at the bottom. You can do the auto sum, just like I showed you. You can do running sum. You can do a lot of stuff. But my favorite, don't blink. My favorite is clearly this one. You select just your top data here, control Q, and then look at the spark line. You can do a line and then here you go. You don't have to draw anything with just a glimpse you see the spark line, the evolution of the cells. How good is this? If you enjoyed this video so far, make sure to smash the like button so this video spreads around. The third Excel hidden feature is the analyze data function. Click on your data and then in the home ribbon, you will click on analyze data. Excel will bring you a pane to your right and then you can just ask question to Excel just like you will ask your colleague a question. Excel is now your best friend. I want to know between Rihanna, Justin Bieber, Adele, and Ed Sheeran, who is the best rep? I actually want to know who are the three top sales representative. So I just ask Excel. I press enter and then Excel makes me some suggestion. I want to know the top three in sales representative by total amount. I click there and Excel gives me the option to make a pivot table. I just click on insert pivot table and here we go. Of course, we have our Swifty that is the best performer. I can ask any question to Excel. I could ask which animal we sold the most. We are running a farm here and then I click enter and here we go straight up. We have 325 pigs. I just click on insert pivot table and here we go for the analyze feature excel use filters so i made a video specifically on filters right here 